Hello, I'm Perry, the product manager with AWS training and certification responsible for cloud economics based in New York City. Today, I'm going to show you how you can track your AWS spending and usage with AWS budgets. Let's get started. You can use AWS budgets to set spending alerts, to identify spending thresholds, and to have spending updates sent directly to a specified email address. You can use the AWS Management Console to create a budget, view a budget that you created, and delete a budget. Let's create a cost budget. Starting here at the AWS Management Console, let's create a recurring fixed monthly cost budget. We'll open the AWS Billing and Cost Management Console. On the navigation pane, choose Budgets. Choose Create Budget, select Cost Budget, and then choose Next. Under Details, enter a budget name. Under Set Budget Amount, select Monthly from the list. Choose Recurring Budget for Budget Renewal Type, select a Start Month, select Fixed for Budgeting Method, Enter a dollar amount for your budget and enter your budgeted amount. Under Budget Scope, select All AWS Services. For advanced options, choose the options that fit your use case or leave the default settings. Choose Next. Choose Add an Alert Threshold. Under Set Alert Threshold, for Threshold, enter the amount that must be reached for you to be notified. You can use either an absolute value or a percentage. Under Set Alert Threshold, for Trigger, use Actual to create an alert for your actual spend. Or choose Forecasted to create an alert for your forecasted spend. You can set up multiple alert thresholds within the same budget by choosing Add Alert Threshold. For example, with our budget of $50, suppose that we want to be notified when we are forecasted to exceed 80% of this amount. To set this up, enter 80, choose percent of the budgeted amount, and then choose forecasted as the trigger. Under notification preferences, optional, select the notification method by email recipients, Amazon SNS alerts, or Amazon chatbot alerts. Your threshold must have at least one notification method or action configured. Choose next. For attach actions, optional, you can configure an action that AWS Budgets performs on your behalf when the alert threshold is exceeded. For more information and instructions, see To Configure a Budget Action. Choose Next. Review your budget settings and then choose Create Budget. Now that we have seen how to create a budget, let's see how to view your budget. Open the AWS Billing and Cost Management Console. On the navigation pane, choose Budgets. To see the filters and cost variances for your budgets, choose the budget's name in your list of budgets. Note, for more information, see Reading Your Budgets. To view the budget history, choose View in AWS Cost Explorer. Note, after you create a budget, it might take up to 24 hours for the Cost Explorer graph to appear. AWS Budgets information is updated up to three times a day. Updates typically occur 8 to 12 hours after the previous update. And finally, let's take a look at how we can delete a budget. Open the AWS Billing and Cost Management Console. On the navigation pane, choose Budgets. From your list of budgets, select one or more budgets that you want to delete. At the top of the page, choose Actions, and then choose Delete. Choose Confirm. Note, you can't recover a budget after you delete it. If you delete a budget, all email notifications and notification subscribers that are associated with the budget are also deleted. So now you know how you can track your AWS spending and usage with AWS budgets. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.